Okay, so I I want to re really revisit the video I made the other day about Morbius, the film, <clears throat> and just say that after giving it a few days, letting it th you know simmer, and you know I want to uh, just think about all the all the ways the all the elements and the shots and all the all the niceties of it and you know all those uh all the kind of stereotypical routes they they took in you know most superhero movies it's, it's par for the course i'd still say it was a great film uh shoot it was it was a lot of fun and uh, it was not dog shit uh, not dog shit it's it's like like why are you taking a superhero film seriously anyway superhero films you, you know are you you're not gonna be satisfied you know you're not it's just i mean it's just popcorn blockbuster fodder and i still like uh, I still like a lot of really high grade, uh, you know, artsy films. The Green Knight, beautiful. Uh, oh, that was. Um, Nightmare. That was a great one. But no, Morbius. I mean, you know what? So what? It falls under certain tropes. You know, whatever. Uh, it also risks. It also doesn't think that they're gonna fall in line with it. Just want to set up a villain, an easy villain. Uh, most of the acting is really organic. And the reactions that they, you know, take place are not not uh, dwelled on like like moist. Said, like Ping, um, Penguin Zero said that, oh, it happens so quickly. They don't really know what's happened. Well, yeah, it's because it's because it's supposed to happen in, instantly. It's like like life. You know, like he's not. He's just he's just a guy. Like the other, like his villain, like his villain was sent, was was experiencing uh, these you know these emotions and these. He was ra He was. Um, he's had the, this bloodlust, and uh, and you know they they didn't they didn't touch on that too much. It was not like um, it was not it was not too heavy heavily discussed. Yeah, it it doesn't have to be. It really doesn't have to be. Like, what do you like? We're not like in. In any new grounds, um, you know, I think the best things that shown through in this film were 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 definitely these these scenes that all take place in the subway and in, in the in, like in the really gritty like. Uh, subway like and underground areas and there's a certain moment in the where the um where where morbius goes down into 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 this abandoned looking like mall you know this abandoned mall looking type facility there's a whole lab here for counterfeit money is being printed and uh and that that was that is shot really well uh, if anybody's saying this movie is just, just utter crap, uh, no, I, no, you, you, you can't say a movie that's shot really well and is paced well enough to, to where you're, you're not lost, um, and, and it's adding to it and it's colliding to it. It's riding with it seamlessly. It's working hand in hand, the pacing and the, and the cinematography. No, you can't say it's crap. You honestly don't really know much about a film. Uh, you don't. You're not. You're not hands-on with it enough. And 
and they have cliche moments. It's not a big deal. So what if they have they show a rat being worked on, and and so what if he is you know the test that just goes wrong? So what he has th that reaction that you don't want, and so there's that moment of of failure. So what? It happens, and it's it's something they chose to do, and they chose to do it differently. This this one as well. It's not cle It's not. Uh, they they gave it a little something. So if you wanna if you wanna hate on the movie, that's retarded. Um, it's a superhero film, uh, like again, and and also you should just like the movie. You shouldn't wanna you shouldn't wanna throw it away completely. You shouldn't wanna crumble it up and just kick it into the gutter, you know, you should want to just at least like it and say it's just acceptable, just like The Matrix, like, there was nothing in there worth hating, you know, every, I saw the second and the third Matrix films, there was a lot in there that was just unwatchable, that brought everything to a complete stop, and at no point did anything come to a complete stop in the fourth Matrix film. At no point did anything just come to an abrupt stop. It was all pretty fine. And in in, for those moments where you got into the mind um, of, of, of Neo, and for those moments where he was lost and he was drinking coffee and he was contemplating, he was remembering, for those moments where he was, you know, he was meeting trinity again those moments were valuable they they you they they're in they're soothing you you feel you you know they're they're meaningful and then something happens and and it's actually new there's a there's subway there's a, uh, a you know fights things like that the problem with the problem with film and people today is that they don't really realize they're in a matrix and in a system. They don't really understand that that we're at a we're at a point where functionality is no longer relevant. We don't uh, the powers that be are really deciding everything. Please ask yourself who's this. If you don't believe me, ask. Go into a, a public restroom and ask yourself who's deciding to make these public restroom toilets. Okay, automated. Who decided that? The old phrase used to be. The old phrase used to be. Uh, what was it? If it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? <sighs> well, that certainly ain't the case now, because nowadays it's it's. What is perfect already? because uh, we need to automate it. <laughs> who asked for? Who asked? For those plungers to be removed that you can just pretty much kick with your foot and then walk out right out the door. Who asked for that to be undone? Because there's still functionality in that you press it down and it sucks everything in. It's pretty much fun. It's like a fun invention. Like you keep, there was a thing, you could just tap it. It's like, it looks like a, it makes you feel like you're, you're using a candy ball machine or something. It's like a lever. You you pop it down. You just bam. You hit it as with with force, and it's in like a it's a plunger. You hit it with force, and then and it makes noise, and it's tangible. Who decided to where you can freaking lean forward while you're on the john, and set off a stupid sensor? And be alerted with a freaking annoying, ostentatious <sighs> swirl. Who decided that? Who decided? Whoever decided it, we need to attack them. People don't realize that there's that that they their media, their their interests. There are they're already being controlled, and um, we we have the technology to where we can make independent film, we can make our own products. 
um, very marketable. We are the ones who fall under certain tropes and certain conditions. We do not really make film that is outstanding because we pretty much rely on all things to be automated and programmed. I mean, right now, making it on a smartphone, um, I will admit there are apps on it. I don't need apps. I really don't. And I don't need apps for, to run my life. Not everything has to be a certain way. We have to be willing to think outside the box. And, uh, and you know, people in big tech don't want you to think outside the box. But we are. There's nothing good about having something do everything for you. And uh, being... And it being made by someone you never met, um, and who will be infinitely richer than you will ever be, uh, and and if you if you subscribe to that, if you play into that, you have no right to make a fuss. None. Most cars today look like just a blur. They have no shape, and uh, I don't. I call me crazy, but. You know, nothing's sharp if it can't cut you. If you can't, if it doesn't have an angle, you can't call it sharp. <sighs> now, Morbius and uh, films like these are films that give a B, a nice solid B, because they are enjoyable. Uh, and I've watched, especially, especially that part where he invades the, the counterfeit factory was awesome. The acting was really, really cool. Um, the actors they play, they, that are in it are very uh, under, under, undervalued, under, underrated, um, maybe underused at times. But here they got to be real, you know, stars, and they got to, um, know, they got to play a certain type, and they did it well. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get off here. But so please check back and uh, and please uh, actually, if you know, if anything, take take this from this video, and that is think for yourself and try to uh, try to gain something from everything you do and uh, the people all you meet all throughout your life try to try to understand their positives and and uh, the work that people pro produce you know if it's if it's truly uh, if it has if it has the air, the error of of meaning to it if there's a uh, sense that there's like a you know there's a real um life inside inside of it then you can't shut it off there's you that you uh then it's worthwhile over and out